everybody and it is jada here and today i thought i'd do a little something fun how to draw a briar so well, it's really just drawing any horse but thought it would be fun to copy it off of a briar so i have just a couple little stable mates here that i thought would be pretty easy to draw one that i named mystical wishes and then one that i named fireworks so i'm gonna do firework first so let's get started on our drawing so first for him I'm going to give him his little ear. So, one of his ears is facing backwards, kind of, or like farther back from his other ear. So, it's going to go like this. Then his other ear is right up here, so like that. Now, if I inspect his face, I'll look, and from the side of him, you can see that he has his eye right there, and then his nose, so... I'll just kind of try to copy his face a little bit. And then, yeah. Then his eye on this side pokes out just a little bit, but you can't see any detail on it, so you'll just draw his face. And then I'll go in, and I'll draw his neckline. And then the rounding of his neck. And now I'll focus on his leg right there, I'll, how it's out in a walking position. So. So first I'll give him his little chest right here. So I'll kind of make it go like this. Then I'll reach his leg forward and give him like that. Okay. Mm. It looks a little long. Let me fix it. So there's his first leg done. And now I'll look at him and I'll start to do his back. And his back kind of curves in a little bit. So you'll just come down and you'll give it a little curve like that. And then that looks pretty good. And then now I'll do his stomach. So his stomach and his back kind of fall a little bit into proportion. I think I gave him a little too much of a hay belly or a belly that sticks out, so I'll fix that. And just tip, always you probably always want to do your drawing in pencil so you can erase it if you did something wrong. So here's my horse for what I've got in my horse right now and it looks pretty good so next I'll work on this back leg right here so I will do that oops down right about that no I don't like that so I'll do his back leg and then I'll be back to you guys in a second. Now that his back leg is done, it looks pretty even to his front leg. And now we'll look at him and we'll see that you have to do his little, his um, hind end. And so now I'll just go like that and do his hind end. There we go. So now that's his basis of his body. And now I'll look up here and I'll see that he has some strands of his hair or his forelock coming down his face right there. So like that. So now I'll just draw that. So comes around like this and goes like that. And then like that. There we go. So let's pretty much like him. Now we'll do his mane. And his mane just kind of sticks straight up and has a little bit of unevenness to it. So I'll do that. Oh, sorry. Here we go. 
That looks good. Now, his tail would be next right there. So it's just kind of a straight tail that curves a little bit at the end. So it's right there. So. Just add in the little detail lines. There we go. It looks pretty much like his tail. And I might have made it go up, reach up a little too far on his haunches, so, or his hind end, his haunches, whatever. So I will fix that and pause the camera as I do it. So there we go. Now his um, tail is more in its correct spot. So now there's a couple of things that are missing. He needs his two back legs and his eyes, his nose, and his mouth. So first, let's give him his first leg that's in the back, this one right here. And I will pause the camera as I do this so that it doesn't take forever. So now that I've done his two back legs, still click him, and I'll give him his eyes, his nose, and his mouth. So for his eye, move him over there. Go right about where it would be in a normal horse's head. And I'll just do a little like opal like that, almost. Like that, and then he has white behind his eyes, so we'll go like that, and just fill in the rest of the eye. And then his nose, just a little circle, do dad thingy there, and then his mouth, I just put a smile. Now he has real expression, but if you look at him, you notice that he has little faint stripes down all of his legs, so I can just put those in really nicely. All right up there, and then yeah, he has like... Two really light ones there, and then back here he has a couple. And then his tail fades a little bit to darker at the end. So I'll just do that. This mane has just a, like, variations in it. There we go. Starting to look a bit more like him. And then his muzzle or his nose right there is a bit darker, so I'm color that. I just shade that in with my pencil. There we go, and not like a master drawer or anything. I like looks pretty it looks like it looks somewhat like him, I guess. And then so I have one more briar that I'm gonna draw. It's a mystical wishes right here. Well, before I call Mystical Wishes, so like I said, we'll start with her ears, then her face, then we'll go down her neck, her chest to her legs, to her her stomach right here, then her legs, then her hind end, then her tail, mane, forelock, eyes, nose, mouth, and then other little supporting details. So I'm gonna draw here. I'll just staple it. war fire war firework now i'll start with drawing mystical wishes ears right here now that i have her ears i'll draw her face oh, i'll draw her um face then her neck and then i'll bring you guys back and then you can see her face and her neck don't forget i always want to do their little details of their eye and their nose and all those other little details so be right back so there's her face and her neck, and then I'll take her and I'll start drawing her chest, her legs, and her back. And you have all those little details. Never forget to do the hooves. And if they have white socks and stuff, which she does, don't forget to do those too. So I'll be back once I do that. So that's what I've done for her so far, and now I'll start working on her hind end and her other legs and stuff, and then. Once I get that together, I guess we'll also, like, do her mane. I'll just finish her now and then bring back once I'm done with her. So, yeah, because if you really want, like, real step-by-step, -step, you can watch fireworks thing, which you already have. So, yeah, I'll just finish her up. There we go. And now that I've finished her, I've done her, the rest of her body, I've shaded her in, I've done her hooves, and I've done her white socks, and then she did have a little ribbon right there in her hair. So, I, I didn't have any red, so I put in pink, 
So I think she looks pretty good. I think her firework ended up pretty well. So if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!